Now the Spirit Venture into enemy grounds. And it's played there by Mitchell. On the right wing side, Dickinson. Dickinson looking for McNaughton. Oh, overskating the puck. Mitchell now it's turned back by Trocek. Vincent Trocek right at 150 points in his OHL career as it's shoveled there by Sparks as the puck kind of slid in his direction. And behind the net, Trocek looking for Ross. Oh, Ooh, he nearly found him in front, but a good defensive oh. start. <laughs> Brad Walsh, the trigger man at the blue line. That puck had a bit of a bumpy ride en route to the goal. And we'll see if Brad Walsh perhaps has his first goal of the season. It would be a timely one. As mentioned, that puck had a bit of a journey towards the net. Secured it and played it in behind the Saginaw net as the Storm go to work on the forecheck. This is the trademark of this hockey club, Dennis. Hard work. Yep. No question about it. They retooled with the losses of Peter Holland, obviously, and a Taylor back, Michael Latta, to the pro systems of Anaheim and Nashville. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is a hardworking unit out there, and they give you what they got. There's no league in hockey that you can't have success by not working hard. Absolutely. It's part of the deal. You can be talented and loaf, and you get nothing. Absolutely. You're spot on with that. Feliziani with a wrist shot, nowhere near the net, but it's right at the side of the goal. Horvat in front, Augers there, and he scores. A shot from the slot area off the stick of the big youngster, Justin Auger, his third goal of the season. It took Auger a while to get his first goal, but he's had a few in succession lately, and that's a big one to tie it at a goal apiece. Well, back to hard work. Yep, you're right. The cycling by the Storm and their reward for Jamie Alexiak with Team Canada as he wins a bronze medal at the event. Of course, Team Sweden winning the World Juniors for the first time since 1981. What a game that was. Absolutely. Wow. How about the goaltending of Peter Morazic of the Ottawa 67s? He's a Detroit draft pick. He was just fabulous in the tournament and the goaltender of the event. Hands down as it's played by Trafford. Trafford oh. scores! <laughs> Terry Trafford found a little seam between the pads. And the Spirit have opened up a 2-1 advantage. Garrett Sparks on one knee, pondering that as it's one he'd love to have back. Sparks has been good this year. It's medal for Team Canada. The first time in roughly a decade, I do believe the Canadians did not play in the gold medal game. They had to settle for bronze after being beaten by the Russians. As it's played in behind the net, Finn outdistances himself from Trocek. It's left there for Padan. Andre Padan into Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi left it there for Horvat. Bertuzzi will pick it up. He and Horvat trying to get their signals together, not quite gelling as a unit. There oh, they no. score! Auger, another shot that beats Windsor on the glove side. And Justin Auger has his second goal of the period and fourth of the season as he's untapping the goal scoring in recent days for the Gual Storm after being stagnant early in the season. So the Storm get another one to counter, and we're tied at two. Dennis, another period with uh, very little in the way of penalties. Has there been one? None. Absolutely. We've had a few games like that, very low penalty totals. Well, I like when the referees put their whistle away. I agree. Unless it's uh, late, and then, of course, you call it. Well, earlier but in the season. Don't manufacture things, you know? Yeah, now it's Dickinson. In the front, they score. Mitchell takes uh, a pass from Dickinson and wires it past Windsor. It is 3-2 for the Guelph Storm. A nicely constructed play there by the visitors, and they have their first lead of the night. That was a delicate little pass there by Jason Dickinson, who has saved a goal in this opening period in his own zone. Back to the line. Archibald serves it down low towards Shala. Shot right on. Big rebound in front, and it kind of skipped off the stick there of Brandon Saad, who was poised to uh, pounce on it and give it a go. Couldn't find the handle, though. Now Saad has it in the high slot. Good pass down low into a pinching Walsh. A shot scores! Good job. Well, we thought Brad Walsh might have had his first of the season earlier. He certainly does now. 3-3. Three, three. Good luck there by Saad. First goal of the second period is huge. The Spirit get it, and we're deadlocked at three. Power play goal for the Spirit. Brad Walsh picked a good time to venture in from the blue line. He took a moment, but he couldn't get a second shot to follow the play up. 154 left to go in the second period. 3-3 the score of the Storm and the Spirit in this ultra-important game in the Western Conference. 
Jamie Alexiak whips a pass in the direction now of Walsh to the near wing into uh, Eric Locke, who feeds there it into go. Saad. Saad with a burst of speed. He cuts around his man fit in front of the net. Losing right. the score. Good follow-up. Absolutely. Michael Fine could see that one coming a mile away. The initial save was made as Fine makes a break for the net and sticks it under the crossbar after a great gallop towards the front. Driving hard, Brandon. Under the crossbar. Fine's got nine. Saad with a great, great piece of acceleration there to set up the play. Now it's back to Archibald. It's loose to front. Fine may have another one, and he does. Michael Fine at the doorstep, right place, right time, as the shot originated at the blue line, and it was there for the taking. Sparks nowhere to be found. It's 5-3. Lightning in a bottle for the Spirit. Michael Fine times two. And what was the deficit? Is now only. Uh, I'm not <coughs> sure the motivation of taking your shirt off. Well, I, I'm, I'm not in for the it. In winter <laughs> when you probably should be wearing a Here shirt. Here comes Saad. Saad trying to reason. break in front of the net. He gets the shot. Oh, it's there yeah. for the taking. They score. Josh yeah. Shalla. Josh Shalla, number two all time in franchise goals with his 96th as a member of the Saginaw Spirit. One up on Jack Combs, targeting Ryan McDonough for the all-time lead. He was there to pick up the remnants of the play right at the goal mouth. No sweat there, that's money for Shalla. Brandon Foote was not there, and Josh Shalla to the red line. Now it's on the stick of McNaughton, could play to get it into Nickel. A high-rising wrist shot, the table set beautifully though by McNaughton for the oncoming defenseman, Nickel, who missed the mark. Now it's Brandon Saad again. Leaving it there for Michael Fine, a return pass in the direction of Saad. He's got to accept it off the backboards, and he does. Saad plays it now to Fine. Fine gives his man the slip as he left Menard behind. Now a shot by Shala. Scores! Josh Shala, what a precision shot over the shoulder of foot. He had about an inch to work with, and he stuck it over the shoulder. And Josh Shala, the trigger man again. He's got a deuce here in the third. Number 17 and 18, and the Spirit are pouring it on at 7-3. Save made there by foot on a sneaky shot there by Ringette. We talked about Ringette and that shot from the blue line. That time around, he settled for a little snapshot, but it had uh, good positioning on it and forced foot into a pad save. You know, with some of the moves that have been made, it's forcing guys like Ringette and Trafford and people like this Kia, to yep. play. They're going to have some nights where they Here's a chance here a in front, they score. Sorry to break your train of thought, Dennis, but the spirit are at it again. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Lutri, they're going to have big nights. Some nights they'll struggle a little bit, but they're going to develop. That is a goal for Nick Mutri. Talking about the young thoroughbreds for the spirit, Dennis was, and one of them took the cue from that. 